Hi everyone I welcome you all for this nursing wisdom channel today we are going to see about monkeypox monkeypox is a rare zoonotic disease that means the virus is transmitted from animals to humans symptoms of human infection are like those in patient with smallpox but are less severe although smallpox was eradicated in 1980 Monkeypox is endemic to Central and Western Africa that has been recently emerged in the USA and UK. There is currently no proven treatment for human monkeypox and questions about its potential as an agent of bioterrorism persist. How the name monkeypox came? Monkeypox is infecting the humans, African mammals, rodents since long time. It is first isolated in 1958 in crab eating macaque. that is a type of monkey that's why it got the name monkey pox in 1958 two outbreaks of a pox like disease were discovered in colonies of crab eating macaques that were used for research purposes from monkey it jumped in the year 1972 republic of congo monkey pox first discovered in congo the causative agent The monkeypox virus is a double stranded DNA virus belongs to the orthopox virus genus in the family poxviridae. The orthopox virus genus also includes variola virus which causes smallpox. Vaccinia virus used in the smallpox vaccine and cowpox virus. Two distinct strain of monkeypox There are two distinct strain or clade of monkeypox found. They are Central African strain, West African strain. Central African strain, Central African strain first discovered in Democratic Republic of Congo. The death rate by this Central African strain infection is 10%. Next one is West African strain. Other strain is West African strain it is spreading commonly beyond Africa death rate is 1 to 3 percentage now the infection spread into the UK and US is related to West African strain reservoir of monkeypox virus monkeypox infection has been observed in a wide variety of mammals including monkeys giant cambian rats squirrels and rodents transmission of monkeypox virus monkeypox virus can spread when a person comes into contact with the virus from an infected animal infected person or materials contaminated with the virus the virus can also cross the placenta from the mother to her fetus the virus enters the body through broken skin even if not visible respiratory tract or the mucous membranes eyes nose or mouth from infected humans to human transmission it occurs from close contact with an infected person the virus can enter the body via broken skin the eyes nose or mouth it also can be passed on through the skin to skin contact during sex touching sores and scabs direct contact with respiratory secretion skin lesions of an infected person next from infected animals to human how it occurs means by close contact with infected animals biting scratching eating undercooked infected meat by handling wild game through the use of product made from infected animals direct contact with the blood body fluids skin lesions and mucus fluids of infected animals from infected materials to human how it get transmit means by touching contaminated clothes linens and objects of infected person next pregnant mother to fetus the virus can also cross the placenta from the mother to her fetus next incubation period usually from 7 to 14 days but can range from 5 to 21 days after incubation period the illness typically last for 2 to 4 weeks signs and symptoms the infection period can be divided into two they are the invasion period the skin eruption period the invasion period usually lasts between 0 to 5 days characterized by fever intense headache limb adenopathy back pain myalgia intense asthenia that means lack of energy and chills 
The skin eruption period usually begins within 1 to 3 days of the appearance of fever. The rash tends to be more concentrated on the face and extremities rather than on the trunk, but then spread to palms of the hands and soles of the feet, oral mucous membrane, genitalia and conjunctiva as well as the cornea. The stages of monkeypox, the rash evolves through the following stages, sequentially from macules, papules, vesicles, pustules, crest which dry up, partially removed scab. Macules, it is a lesion with a flat base, yearly vesicle 3 mm in diameter. Papules, it is a slightly raised fam lesion with small pustules. 2 mm in diameter. Vesicles In this stage, the lesions filled with clear fluid and umbilicated with pustule 3 to 4 mm in diameter. Pustules In this stage, the lesions filled with yellowish fluid, ulcerated lesion 5 mm in diameter. Crest which dry up In this stage, crusting of a mature lesion will start. Partially removed scab. In this stage, the scab will remove partially. Next laboratory diagnosis PCR. Polymerase chain reaction is the preferred laboratory test given its accuracy and sensitivity for confirmation of monkeypox. The optimal diagnostic sample for monkeypox is from skin lesions, the roof of fluid from vesicles and pustules, and dry crust. PCR blood tests are usually inconclusive because of the short duration of viremia relative to the timing of specimen collection after symptoms begin and should not be routinely collected from patients. Next management of monkeypox. The treatment for monkeypox is supportive care, ensure adequate hydration and nutrition to the patient, replacing electrolyte, Hospitalization may be necessary in more severe cases. By this supportive care, more patients will recover. Medical management Currently, there is no specific treatment approved for monkeypox virus infections. However, antiviral developed for use in patients with smallpox may prove beneficial. The following medical countermeasures are currently available for the treatment of monkeypox. Tablet Tecovirimid it is an antiviral medication that is approved by FDA for the treatment of human smallpox disease in adult and pediatric patient weighing at least 3 kg. Dose is 600 mg per oral BID for 14 days. Tablet Sidofovir It is an antiviral medication that is approved by FDA. Next one is Tablet Brinsidofovir it is an antiviral medication that was approved by the FDA for the treatment for monkeypox. Dose is 200 mg per oral, weekly 2 doses. Vaccinia immunoglobulin intravenous is licensed by FDA, allows for the treatment of orthopox virus in an outbreak. This is administered mostly for post-exposure prophylaxis. Vaccination Gynnus is an attenuated live virus vaccine which has been approved by the US Food and Drug Administration for prevention of monkeypox. The ACIP, the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, is currently evaluating gynnus for the protection of people at risk of occupational exposure to orthopox viruses such as smallpox and monkeypox in a pre-event set. Prevention of monkeypox. There are number of measures that can be taken to prevent infection with monkeypox virus. Avoid contact with animals that could harbor the virus including animals that are sick or that have been found dead in areas where monkeypox occurs. Avoid contact with any materials such as bedding that has been in contact with a sick animal or human. Isolate infected patients from others who could be at risk for infection. Practice hood hand hygiene after contact with infected animals or humans. For example, washing your hands with soap and water or using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. 
Use personal protective equipment PPE when caring for patients. Prognosis of monkeypox Most cases have been mild. However, the prognosis for monkeypox depends on multiple factors such as previous vaccination status, initial health status, concurrent illnesses and comorbidities among others. But the disease can have more severe consequences in young children, pregnant women and people who have weakened immune system. I hope you got some idea about monkeypox. Thanks for watching.